We have a safety alert for you. Rip currents are responsible for killing more than 100 people every year in the U.S. But this year, there's increased hope to limit the number of rip current deaths as NOAA and the National Weather Service officially launch a potentially life-saving upgrade. NBC 15's James Gordon reports it's a new model that can predict hourly rip current threats. New technology is really designed for the forecasters. It starts at the National Weather Service, and then it's the lifeguards who really have their feet in the sand. This week alone, lifeguards at Orange Beach have rescued 18 swimmers from Gulf waters. You know, people that too, right there. Yeah. We got a strong rip current right today, right here at the uh, pier. Eyes on the water is still the first line of defense even as the National Weather Service launches its newest tool to forecast rip current action. And it shows, again, every three hours, it shows how the risk might increase throughout the day. The goal is to limit the number of rip current related fatalities with a first of a kind rip current forecast model. The new model can predict the hourly probability of rip currents along our beaches up to six days out. Orange Beach head lifeguard Brent Lessinger says the new technology is more than welcome, making the forecast easier to understand and to display accurately when it comes to warning flags. It's more or less just a one stop shop. We can go to one place and kind of have all the information rather than using multiple sources. The science behind what's known as the Nearshore Wave Prediction System is already saving lives. So the local national service wind forecast is a huge component of this model, plus it's using the high resolution wave prediction from the, uh, the national model that we use. So it's kind of several components uh, on this one supercomputer. The current upgrade is available to everyone on the National Weather Service's website, but it's the implementation and interpretation that's left up to the experts. We like to take all the information and just combine it together. So about 50% of what we do is based on what the naked eye sees and then 50% is off what the forecasted weather models say. Again, nothing beats what lifeguards can see with the naked eye. That along with this new technology and some common sense from beachgoers will save a lot of lives this summer. In Orange Beach, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.